I'm back and I took a shower. My hair is currently drying, so I've got it up in whatever is going on here, and I'm not really sure I'm digging it, so I'm trying to see it in the camera, but I'm squinting, so it's not really helping because I can't get a good feel for it. Anyways, I don't like it. Don't get attached because currently I'm not. I'm probably gonna change it in about 10 minutes. <laughs> but anyways, I'm back, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this Tiny TV 2 unit that was sent to me for free to check out from Tiny Circuits. They've got so many different DIY little builds. Like, check out this arcade. I kind of want that now. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, they did send me a tiny TV too, which at this point is a prototype, but by the time this video comes out, it will be available on Kickstarter and is a DIY set. So if you like tiny things and tinkering with electronics, then this may just be a project for you. And I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description for you guys in case it's something that you'd like to try out for yourself. So let's switch down to the table and check out the package. And also just, ugh, I don't like the feeling of my wet hair on my neck. Okay, okay, I'll see you down there. Hold on. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so this is the box that I was sent. Just this, no paperwork inside the bubble mailer whatsoever. So hopefully I can figure everything that I need to out and everything goes smoothly because as you can see, it's just a plain black jewelry box. No information printed on this whatsoever either. We've just got two pieces of scotch tape holding it together. So I'm just gonna slice the tape. Here we go. And we can check out a little 3D printed TV here. The shell of it is black. We've got fake speakers back here with a little USB type C input there, a little push button on top, and the bezel section in the front is silver. And this TV is on four thin legs and very much 80s in design. On top, we've got a small screen as well as two black knobs that do twist and a small speaker section. Then we've got a little pink zipper seal bag with a battery and a remote inside. Now, if you're thinking that this looks as though it's lacking in design, you're not wrong, but that's because you would be able to design what you want it to look like yourself. Essentially, it's just got six cream or white colored buttons that will give us control over different elements of our TV. So we've got mute and power, channel down and up, as well as volume down and up. Very, very basic. So as you can see, we've got the circuit board and and all the techie stuff that I really don't have any business talking about, as well as a battery compartment on the back. And they have sent me a battery, which is a three volt button battery. So I'm just gonna take it out of the package and pop it inside the remote. That way we'll be able to test it. There we go, slides right in. By the way, there are no instructions here. Luckily for me, I do believe I can press play all on my lonesome. And I'm gonna try using the remote first. Unfortunately, it does not seem like the remote can turn it on, so I guess I'll be pushing the button on top. Oh, there you go. We're gonna start with a commercial for the Thumbie, which is also a Tiny Circuits product. One that I'm definitely interested in getting my hands on. I've been seeing these on Instagram for a while and I am obsessed. Now we've got a fireplace going. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for a little Christmas diorama. If I am able to get my hands on that FAO Schwartz exclusive Barbie doll this Christmas, oh, I will be making a Christmas display. Look forward to that. I mean, wish me luck first to get her. Okay, so this one looks like a bit of stock footage of a beach or something. I'm trying my best to make sure you guys can see through the camera without like frame rate of lines and stuff in the screen, but unfortunately it's not showing off the very best of the color. In person, I will let you know this is much brighter than it might appear to you guys through the camera. All right, next up, we've got some free stock footage of travel and vacation. Looks like we've got some passengers boarding an airplane people collecting luggage, some water. Ooh, someone's pouring sand, how artistic. We've got a bird's eye view of waves washing up on the beach. And what is that, a little cabin in the woods? This person's canoeing. I'm not sure how well the volume will be picked up on this because my microphone is much further away from the tiny speakers, but in person, it sounds really nice. There's a boat. 
I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna skip to the next channel. And what do we got? <gasps> Doctor Who! Okay, so when I got the offer to check out the Tiny TV 2 ahead of the Kickstarter date, I was asked to let them know one of my favorite videos, whether that be off YouTube, a movie, or even one of my own. And the first thing that came to mind was the chronological order of River's song. I didn't know that they were gonna put it on the TV, but look at this! Finally, a Tiny TV with some Doctor Who. How perfect. By the way, if you haven't watched Doctor Who, I'm still not sick and tired of suggesting it. Watch Doctor Who. It is way better than you would imagine. It's not super over the top spacey. It's just so amazing. And the River Song story is wonderful. Just so you know. What else have we got? Oh, we're back to the beginning. I'm gonna try the mute button. Perfect. All right, so I have been using the little remote this entire time, and at this point I've tested everything. And the only comment of note is that I wasn't able to turn the TV on with the power button. But I wonder if we'll be able to turn it off. Let's see. Ooh, I can turn it off. Now can I turn it on? Oh, I can turn it on. Is it just that I was too far away? I don't know. And now to test out the knobs on either side of the speaker. We do have two. It looks like the right side is the channel. Awesome. Which makes the left the volume. And the little black button on top of the television turns it off. Boom. And there you go. That's your basic tiny TV too. Now what excites me about this little TV is the fact that we can actually load our own content onto it using a Type-C USB in the back, which wasn't included, but I have many of these kicking around my house. I think we're gonna be okay. And now, to the computer. So, I'm gonna look at the instructions online and figure out the best way to do this. Because apparently there is some converting info I should know about in order to get everything working smoothly. Let's see how that goes. And I'm just gonna add a few funny clips and behind the scenes stuff because, I mean, who wouldn't wanna watch that on a tiny TV, right? Hey guys, I'm back and it is a whole new day. In fact, it's a whole new week plus two because it has been three weeks in fact since I filmed the first part of this video because I got a head cold and I got sick for the first time in three years. It wasn't fun. I don't know how to be sick anymore and I was miserable doing absolutely nothing. But I'm back and we did convert and add some scenes to this TV so that we can finally check it out with you and share in the joy that is miniature things on TV and that miniature thing just happens to be me. But as you can see, we can't see very much from this perspective, so we're gonna need to switch down to the table. And also keep in mind that although the quality is actually pretty decent on this, it's not gonna have the very best sound quality, especially since I'm gonna show it to you on a tin can. <laughs> but in person, it sounds a lot better than it does down there. Let's go! <laughs> Okay, we're back again. Did I share the specs with you guys? I don't know. If I didn't, 
then let's add some footage now so that we can get that out of the way. So for dimensions, we have 48 by 37 by 26 millimeters or 1.9 by 1.4 by 1.0 inches. Our super tiny screen display is 26 millimeters or 1.0 inches. We've got 16 by 9 millimeter front facing speakers, 150 milliamp battery giving us about two hours at full charge using a USB type C cable as well as for uploading. And you can fill it with pretty much anything you want because we've got eight gigabytes of space giving us around 10 hours of video footage. Like that means you could literally fit full length movies on here as long as they don't go over 10 hours. Like could you imagine a miniature display with your favorite movie just on this TV and no one expects it to work? Like oh my heart can't take it. And finally as you know we have our infrared receiver aka remote control and of course the two rotary dials or knobs on the front of our TV. So as I was saying, it was a lot of fun to actually load things onto this and see myself on such a cute and tiny screen. In fact, if you enjoyed it as much as I did and you want to see other behind the scenes stuff as well as get early access to videos before they go live, then perhaps you should click the link in my description to find out about our new Patreon, which I'm just learning how to use, I will admit, but it should be pretty cool. A place for me to let you guys see some stuff you wouldn't usually see and for you to see things early or that you would never see, like bloopers and stuff, as well as give you an opportunity if you wanted to help support our channel. So yeah, that information is in the link down below in the description box. And if you choose to sign up, then thank you. If not, that's okay too. I'm still gonna be here watching tiny footage of me. If you know somebody who would enjoy today's video, then please share it with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And what you would load onto a tiny TV too. And guys, I have to tell you, there's actually a smaller model than this. I'm pretty sure it's like that big. So I may have to get one of those and definitely a thumbie. I've always wanted a thumbie, so. I may be reviewing more of these in the future. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. My voice is starting to go again. I can hear it. Um, so I'm going to call it quits for the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.